Hello YouTube, this is Dazza the Cameraman. Today is Thursday the 24th of October 2013 and today we're having a look at a video by Logan Runnan which is called Gotcha, a Western Sky Object Ain't Listed, Logan Runnan. And this video was uploaded by Logan Runnan on October 23, 2013 as we can see there. And I know from other videos that uh, Logan is located in Texas. Um, and in this video he says it's 7.30. Let's just have a listen to the start of his video. Hello again YouTube. It's uh, about 7.30. I'm in a different parking lot now. Still brightly lit, you know. Okay, so we've heard Logan say it's 7.30 there. So I'm going into Starry Night and I've set my location uh, as Austin, Texas, United States and I've set the time to 7.30. Now I'm a little bit confused here at the moment because in Logan's video uh, we can see it's actually pretty dark and uh, let me see where we see the object that he's looking at. Dallas, right so to speak. And nothing else in the sky still by the way. Now he does say that there's nothing else in the sky. Um, it looks pretty dark but uh, if he's seeing nothing else in the sky but this bright light, and I'm assuming it's Venus, he's saying that it's not, but I'm assuming that it is, but anyway, we'll look at that. If he's saying that there's nothing else in the sky, well, Venus is certainly the, the brightest object in the sky, and it's going to be the first star-like object that you're going to see in the evening sky. It's not a star, it's a planet. Let's get that clear. Venus is a planet, not a star, but it is certainly the very brightest one that you'll see in the early evening sky at this time. So... Let's just check the time. He did say 7.30 at the beginning of his video. As I set 7.30 in Starry Night, and I'm assuming that uh, Texas is on um, Daylight Saving Time, and I'll show you why. If I go to Google and check the time in Texas right now, and I'll just refresh the page, it's 12.08am. Uh, now I'm assuming it's uh, Daylight Saving Time, because if I go into Time and Date, and check here it says that uh, daylight saving time started on Sunday 10th of March 2013 and it ends on Sunday 3rd of November 2013 so they're currently on daylight saving time so if I go back into starry night I've, this little orange light here uh, means that I've got daylight saving time set and also if I hit the now button it'll reset the, the current time at our set location, Austin, Texas. So if I hit the button that says now, then that tells me it's 12.08 daylight saving time. And once again, if I go into uh, Google and refresh the page, it's now 12.09, let me hit that, 12.09. So that means that we've got our time synchronized with um, Texas, Austin, Texas, or wherever in Texas, it doesn't really matter our exact location, it's really not gonna make any difference. So anyway, if I wind this time back to 7.30, which is the time that Logan tells us he started filming, we can see the sky sort of moving about there. And we can see Neptune high in the sky. Now, why Neptune? Because Logan uh, points to Neptune in his video uh, to show us what's going on. Let me just find that uh, section. Just bear with me as I move this around. Not only is Venus not there, there's no other planets there, even in that area, in that sector, uh, you know, according to your internet data. <laughs> now we got, just so you know this thing's working, we got Neptune right there, you can see it in the middle. See that? Right, now this is where it gets interesting, because Logan has just pointed out Neptune, which is this blue spot here, and we can see that he's got the constellations turned on. Now, this is the interesting problem, because when we look in Starry Night at the constellations, and we look at the orientation of the constellations, here we go, this is Aquarius, and here is Neptune. Let's compare it to what we see in his um, Google Sky app on his phone. Ah, you see the problem? We can see that the orientation is different. You see, here's that, that stick there and the, the loop at the top. And you can see that it's orientated this way. 
but if we go back to his phone it's orientated that way now obviously he's got his phone fairly well level it's a little bit crooked um, but it's, it's not that far out and, and in any case when you rotate the phone with the Google Sky Map the, the illustrations stay in the, in, in the right place the, the picture sort of automatically rotates on the screen um, so why are the illustrations orientated differently I'll tell you why because Logan has not set his location in the menu for Google Sky Map uh, in his phone you do need to set your location there if you haven't um, set it up using GPS um, you do need to manually uh, set it I know that I've had to do that in my phone I've, I've manually set it by um, putting the GPS coordinates in there so Logan if you're watching this video buddy you need to check that your location is set because uh, clearly uh, it's not correct um, I know that, that the illustrations in Starry Night are correct um, and I've compared what we're seeing on your phone in your video um, to what I'm seeing in my phone with uh, Google Sky and uh, you've got problems there buddy you haven't set your phone correctly so I suggest you go and check that now and go and make another video and uh, let's see how we get on and once you've reset the uh, location in your phone uh, go and point it at that star that you uh, claim is not Venus and uh, let's see whether it is Venus or it isn't oh and uh, by the way um, we all know that Venus is looming very bright in the western evening sky everybody can see it it's the brightest star-like object that's in the sky so um, when you go out and make your video how about you point your camera at Venus the real Venus and show us where it is in the sky and then pan around to this mystery object that you claim is not Venus because if what you're showing us is not Venus I would like to know where the real Venus is so how about you do that at the same time as always do check out my Facebook discussion page Voices of Reason to Explain X or Vortex I'll put a link in the description area for you thank you for watching